Hi everybody, and here again, and a bit of a quick blog today, vlog, whichever way you want to put it. Um, carrying on from a couple of videos I did the other week, one about noise and one about being grateful for where you live. The reason for that is I've got a few days off work, so uh, hopefully make a couple more videos. I've got a couple of ideas that I want to do, so uh, over the weekend, the next few days. Um, but it's a nice, nice, crisp autumn, bright, lovely day here in the UK on the south coast, and I uh, thought I'd take myself off for a walk. I do like to have a nice walk across the countryside and that, and experience what the country side's got to offer. So I went to an area called the South Downs near Eastbourne, um, Beachy Head, Seven Sisters, anyone who knows that sort of area. Uh, if you don't know where that area is, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a couple of pictures that I took photographs that I took actually while I was out on the walk. So uh, I'll start off and give you some idea, I'll show you a couple of pictures of the area that I want to. Well there you go, <laughs> as you can see absolutely beautiful stunning sort of part of the world down here, um, as, as you can see it was a lovely day, um, tide was gradually going out down at the bottom of the cliffs, and just to give you some idea in case you aren't aware, some of the, the hills here, the cliffs here, they're all built of chalk which is sort of you know, tiny sort of sea animals from millennia ago, sort of uh, trillions and trillions of little sea creatures all built up and formed the chalk to South Downs that we've got there, uh, and these stretch sort of some miles back and sort of about 100 miles in across the uh, sort of south of England, so just to give you some idea of uh, the sort of vastness of, of what we got there. Um, this is one of the most sort of famous points uh, that we've got actually on the South Downs themselves, this particular stretch here, which is near Brighton, if anyone knows Brighton, you might have heard that, uh, between Brighton and Hastings, more or less-ish, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Um, but as I said, some of these hills here are about sort of 500 feet high, so you can get some idea of uh, how vast they are. But as you can see, quite stunning uh, the scenery. Um, one of the reasons I like going there, and getting back to what I was talking about before with the noise video, was uh, the fact that it's so peaceful and quiet there. You can sort of escape completely, more or less, um, very very few people about um, even on the day like today as you can see it's a, a nice day cold but uh, very very nice bracing as we say over in the UK um, but say so very very few people about so I'll come to that in a minute but um, that's one thing all you've got is the sounds of birds the occasional lapping of waves um, things like that cows sheep um, and, and that's about it really so you can see why uh, people like going over there anyway I've got Bung a couple more pictures in, put another couple of pictures in, then I'll come back to you in a minute, just giving it another bit more of a flavour of where I was. There you go, as you can see, sort of a, quite a massive cliff face there of, uh, of chalk. But uh, getting back to what I was saying before, one of the reasons I like going there is because it is so peaceful and quiet. And one of the reasons for that is that it's in this particular part it's, uh, of the, the downs themselves, it's not actually that easy to get there. Um, so many times nowadays, people just drive their car, get out, have a look, uh, have a cup of tea or a, a cup of coffee or something like that and take a picture and then drive off again. Um, with a lot of the places along here, it's this sort of stretches for a couple of miles I suppose, maybe a bit more than that a lot along the coast there and it's pretty much inaccessible apart from by foot so you, you can drive as I did to part way but then you've got to walk so which is one reason that you don't find anyone there. So it's, it's lovely and quiet, so, you know, it, you're not disturbed generally by anybody else. Well, I always prefer places like that. I don't know how you feel, but I always prefer places like that that you have to make a bit of an effort to get to. I always feel it's uh, there's a bit of a sense of achievement, I suppose, with with places like that. And um, and I suppose you maybe this sounds horrible, but you might actually get a, be a better person type of person there um, because you get people who want to be there. They're not people I've seen so many times sort of coach parties turn up in places, and half the people aren't particularly bothered about being there. Somewhere like this, you have to. Make the effort so everybody who's there wants to be there and has enjoy being there so um, and that does save a lot of problems with litter and that sort of thing as well but that's another subject completely but uh, I don't want to harp on about this too long but I just thought I'd mention that I will leave you with uh, a couple more pictures one is quite a worrying aspect and um, we're getting down to the sort of the global warming and climate change sort of um, issues I suppose which I don't really want to go into I might do it at a later date but um, uh, as you go along the top of the cliff face there these are eroding quite dramatically um, we have quite uh, substantial cliff falls along there and I'll just show you one picture in particular of a, of a, a nice sort of cleft um, in the, the rock there in the chalk which um, not too long is going to fall down and uh, it will erode I think they, they reckon that in some parts they're eroding by about a metre uh, a year which is quite some um, 
quite some distance really when you think about it. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope this hasn't been too boring. I might even do something uh, along the same lines in the future if people like it. Okay, I'll see you again soon. Thank you. Goodbye.